and welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well. We've got a Pepsi 11, which is basically, yes, a match preview. We've got a, our final Champions League group game, Group G, of the 23-24 Champions League. Defence of our title season. Yes, that's what it is. I don't know how many more years we, or how many more months I'm going to be able to say that. <laughs> but we'll see, won't we? Of course, we've got a trip over to Belgrade to play Crevena Svensta. Or let's just call them for the purposes of this vlog. We'll call them Red Star. A little bit easier to uh, pronounce, isn't it? Red Star versus City on the 13th of December 2023. An early kickoff, so uh, make sure you're back from work or whatever. If you're not over there, if you're over there, please stay safe and uh, get back safe as well. 5.45 p.m. kickoff. It's on TNT Sports. And the group as it stands, of course, City, the winners of the group with 15 points. Leipzig sits second and can't be battered, but better battered, well battered, with nine points. Young boys are on four, and Red Star sadly, as the uh, lost to young boys, uh, unfortunately sit rock bottom with just one point and are out of Europe. Whatever happens, so it's the deadest of dead rubbers, as dead as a proverbial dodo. That's for sure. And of course, we'll uh, they'll have to switch to getting back into it next season, won't they? We'll have a look at how they're doing. We'll have a look at how uh, Red Star are doing. Uh, to get back into the Champions League for the 24-25 season. And uh, we'll have a look at uh, what could be a very interesting Pepsi 11, of course. We'll have a look at that and I'd love to hear what yours are, your thoughts are, etc, etc. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Uh, great to have you on board. Everything City past and present, of course. Leave us your comments uh, on this game or anything to do with City. Uh, I will try and respond where need be. If it just needs me to give you a little thumbs up like I hope you do for this vlog, I will do that accordingly. So uh, jump on board and spread the word, guys. You have a little film and TV channel as well. So if you like your films and your TV stuff, uh, check out those videos as well. Uh, uh, reviews and information vlogs. So great to have you on board for the football and the film and TV. But hey, if it's just football, that'll do. do not matter about anything else. Right, Red Star, as I said, out of Europe, of course. He lost 2-0 at Young Boys uh, when we were playing the other week uh, against uh, uh, Red Bull. Yes, you've got Red Star, Red Bull, old Leipzig. So in the last championship, uh, Champions League game, so that stuck, that, that ended their European hope, so they won't even get into the rubbishy Europa uh, Mickey Mouse Cup, will they? That's uh, sad, really. Uh, but generally, yeah, I mean, since playing City on match day one, that's when we first met them, of course, Back on the 16th of September, eh? Oh, it seems a long time ago, doesn't it? Uh, they've played 11 league games and actually won 10 of them. Won 10 and drawn one, so they're doing pretty well. Unfortunately, there's one team doing perhaps just as well as they are. But they've actually got through to the last eight of the Serbian Cup as well, so... Apart from losing the Champions League, they've done, done really well. The joint top at the moment with Partizan, as I'm recording this, they're literally playing Partizan, playing a game, but uh, they are joint top um, Red, Red Star with Partizan, but Red Star have played a game more, so of course if Partizan get at least a point, they'll go back to the top of the league. Apart from the treble winner's scalp, there's not much a stake, is there? But that is a pretty pretty good scalp to take, isn't it, for Red Star? Though I, I don't expect them to take too many risks with their starting eleven. I can't see it being their strongest possible lineup, but then again, a partisan crowd may may demand may demand a strong lineup for the scalp the treble winners, of course. Who's to know what they're thinking? So it'd be no surprise if they go a little bit stronger than perhaps we anticipate in a in a dead rubber in front of their own fans. And we know how uh, they can get up for it in the in the stadium, of course. Uh, they've got a very good a uh, very good or bad reputation, depending on which way you look at it, as far as uh, intimidation is concerned. Of course, City, it brings us to City, doesn't it? We're in a similar position. We're playing for pride, of course. We've already won the group. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Uh, perhaps Red Star aren't the scout for us that, that we are for them. But I can imagine Pep, of course, with the World Club Cup coming up and uh, two or three injuries... Uh, trying something a little bit different for this perhaps is a little bit of planning before the World Club Cup and taking into account certain players might still be missing or coming back from injury so we can use this to do that but of course we've still got a big big uh, home game against Palace coming up in the Premier League which uh, again all the champ all the Premier League games are, are sort of must win at the moment uh, to sort of make sure we don't drop any further behind the, the pack if you like 
So that will bring us to Pep's 11. Let's have a look at the squad against Luton. The start 11, Edison Walker, Diazaki, Gavardio, Kovacic, Rodri, Foden, Silva, Grealish and Alvarez. The subs were Ortega, Carson, Phillips, Stones, Gomez, Akanji, Nunes, Bob and Lewis. And of course injured at the moment and I've not heard anything different to this of course KDB and Doku and Haaland obviously we're hoping Haaland may be back for the Palace game but I don't know too much about Doku at the moment so how about that bench if you look at that bench who's going to start well it has to be Ortega or Carson Edison's not going to start this game Ortega would probably gain more from the experience as our number two over the tough ground to visit as I said with the crowd on at you etc etc uh, if it, you know, a dead rubber, could he put Carson in? I'm not too sure. I think Ortega needs that little bit of uh, little bit of practice. I would have thought Phillips is off, of course. He's, I don't, we don't know where he's going, but there's a good, good chance he'll be off in January. Uh, does he need to be put in the shop window? Probably not, but uh, Rodri surely isn't going to be risked. So uh, if Rodri doesn't play, uh, does that mean Phillips will play? Stones, he needs game time. Say he played the full full game against Villa, then was on the bench uh, for the next game against Luton. But I can again see him coming on for this rather than starting the game. Gomez is an interesting proposition. He's only played the opening Champions League game so far, and I think Pep may risk him for this. Akanji, a likely starter after missing out against Luton. Nunes surely needs to Pep just surely needs to look at Nunes in match action, and this this will be a good game to have a look at under the pressure. Uh, so surely yeah, Nunes might get a little start. Uh, Oscar Bob, uh, if Grealish is rested, although there's a possibility Grealish might play again, I mean, it's a big if if he's rested. Of course, no Doku, but uh, if he is, does want to take a chance, why not stick Bob in? And um, of course, he could have Bob and Grealish if he wanted. Lewis has started the last four Champions League games, so I'm fairly confident we'll start this one. And definitely on the bench for me. There's not that many actually definitely on the bench or dropped. You know, in Walker's case, uh, Edison is definitely on the bench. Walker could be on the bench because he's been dropped, not rested for Crystal Palace. And Rodri, of course, uh, could be rested, although he's had a bit of rest anyway, hasn't he? So if he's fit enough for me, I'd play him. But it's, it's dubious whether we will play in this, in this game in, over in Belgrade, of course. So my 11, let me know your thoughts, guys, if you differ to this. This probably are. I'm going to make six changes to the Luton game, which is uh, borderline dangerous, especially to a team that isn't f totally firing. I'm not. It's not. It's not. As I'm taking making six changes to a, a team that's got momentum and doing very very well. So, yeah, this is my team: Ortega, Lewis, Akanji, Aki, and Gomez, Kovacic, Phillips, and Nunes in the middle. Grealish, Alvarez and Bernardo. I think Alvarez needs another go, doesn't he? I want to see a bit more from Alvarez, a bit more responsibility taken. Uh, on the bench, that would leave Edison, Carson, Walker, Diaz, Gavardio, Rodri, Stones, Foden and Bob. So not, not a bad bench in theory, but six changes. Yeah, it could be too 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 many for me, but we'll uh, talk about that in the predictions in a moment. Uh, so let me know your 11 guys, let me know any thoughts, uh, any agreements or disagreements. Uh, so we might get a surprise and Doku suddenly appear, but uh, I'm not too sure he'd start this anyway. So there you go. Let's go on to mine and Andy Morrison's verdict. Andy Morrison's verdict in the City magazine. He said, now we have our qualification all wrapped up and have won the group. We finish against Red Star and that should give Pep the chance to rest a few legs ahead of a busy Christmas period. We may not have our strongest 11 out for this. If that is the case, I'm going for a draw. Yes, and Moz is predicting Red Star 1, City 1. You get 17 to 2 average price at the bookies as I'm recording this on the uh, 11th of December. 2023 and I'm going to agree with Mozza we do agree occasionally uh, quite independently I didn't look at Mozza's score or couldn't remember Mozza's score I just sort of cut and paste and then have a look when I get to the game but uh, I have to agree with that certainly with six team changes to as I said a team that isn't exactly firing at the moment uh, I'll take a 1-1 I'll take a 1-1 in pride intact for both teams I think 
So what are the odds looking like for all the rest uh, as at the 11th of December 2023? Well, nothing's changed as far as the Champions League is concerned from Game 5 to Game 6. We're still 2-1. to one. Bayern are still second favourites at 4-1. to one. Real Madrid are 13-2. to two. And next comes the best, next best English side, which is Arsenal still at 8-1. to one. So all the same. And the match odds are very similar to the match odds that was City against Leipzig at, at the Etihad a couple of weeks ago. City are one to three on to win this. A draw is nine to two, so you can get nine to two if me and Moz are correct. And Red Star you can get fifteen to two. And the most popular score lines is uh, uh, wins for City one nil, two nil, and two one. You can get thirteen to two on any of them. And a three nil City wins eight to one. So there you go. Let's see. As I say, not uh, we expect most most of the bookies are expecting or pricing it for a City win, but. Uh, I think me and Mozza may have a point on uh, on this one. And, uh, yeah, of course I want to win, but whether it's the be-all and end-all, I don't think we've ever won six out of six, have we, in the Champions League? So it would be nice. But, uh, yeah, I think there's uh, too too many uh, too many irons in the fire for Pep to sort of uh, play a too strong a team that could win this. But as I said, even our strong team isn't exactly firing at the moment, is it? So there's no guarantees in a... In a a stadium where the atmosphere is going to be quite quite hot, I think, uh, even though it might be a bit cold outside. Anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. If you're having a flutter, let me know what you're having to go at. I know a couple of you do that anyway, so that's not anything you fancy. I'll be back with the ratings and talking points show for this game, of course, on, um, well, the game's on... Wednesday night, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll be on be on Thursday, probably about mid morning. I'll be, I'll do this little write up on Wednesday night after the game because it will be late and it'll be a bit late to get it out Wednesday night after even though it's an early finish, but uh, it takes about an hour for all the edits and it to download and stuff like that. So be back with that uh, on on Thursday, and of course uh, there will be a preview. Of course, we'll have a preview very quickly of the uh, Crystal Palace game as well. So that'll be Thursday, Friday, and of course a tri- my continuing tribute to King of the Kipax. Uh, it's a fix, and uh, there should be a Premier League years as well. So plenty going on, plenty to look at. So. Uh, Check back, say that one or two of those might be out before, of course, the player ratings show for this game. Great to have you on board, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Until we meet again, I know that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now. (laughs)